Hey then everyone, Juan Romero here from Switchwatch. I wanted to highlight 10 recent indie gems that you should definitely consider on your Nintendo Switch. Before we get into it, James every Sunday night highlights some great digital bargains, does a great job on that on the Nintendo Switch eShop. And with our sponsor, Aniba.com, in partnership with Trustly, you can get even more discount on your purchases, whether it's for the Nintendo Switch or other platforms by purchasing digital. Now, where there's a real benefit for me is when buying eShop cards. For example, today, an eShop card is just £13.37. When you add a small fee to that though, by paying via Trustly or any other payment method, it does take it up slightly to around £14.42. So there is still a saving and you can also save on buying digital games too, which is often cheaper than in the Nintendo eShop itself. In fact, I'm going to purchase a £15 card right now. Stay tuned till the end of this video to find out how to win. Now Trustly, in case you didn't know, is a payment provider making it easy to pay directly from your bank account no app registration or manual entries are required and once set up you can use trustly like any other payment method it's a great alternative so no need to have your card to hand every time they also have their spring sale on right now in partnership with aniba.com where you can buy many digital games or game vouchers cheaper so make sure you check out aniba.com now, if you're on the fence, check out the Trustpilot scores where they have over 44,000 reviews and a 4.6 rating. You can click in the link in the description if you want to see the site for yourselves and for more information on Trustly. Now, let's get into the video. Our first game is Heaven's Vault, released in January 21. Heaven's Vault is a narrative adventure with a hieroglyphic language to decipher. What I really enjoyed was sailing the open world of Nebula and tracking down the distant moons. Now the puzzles become part of your story and there are many characters you can meet along the way where you can either become friends or make enemies, with each action having consequences. There's loads of secrets to discover here and if you really want to go in depth, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I just enjoyed having the choice, and while it's not perfect with the continuous loading and some technical issues, it didn't stop me enjoying this one from start to finish. A little gem if you've not considered this yet. Next up we have Fez, a surprise for me. It's a game that I missed out on when it dropped a few weeks ago, but what I really enjoyed about this is just how unique it felt to play. I love the transition from 2D platforming but navigating 3D structures with four distinct classic 2D perspectives. You see, Gomez is a 2D creature living in a 2D world, but then a third dimension is revealed to him, and, well, that's your cue to go out on an epic journey. The game, again, is full of secrets with loads of exploration and hidden treasures to find. I think it's a game that maybe has gone a little bit under the radar, and one I think worth every penny. I just adore games like this. A short hike is exactly that. Follow and explore trails making your way to the summit, where you'll meet other hikers discover hidden treasures, there's definitely a theme with these first three games, and really absorb the world around you. In what a beautiful world it is. You can fish or swim or just take your time with a wonderful soundtrack to accompany your journey. This is just the perfect little chill out game. Bug Fables, the everlasting sapling, came out almost a year ago now. It was a game we reviewed on the channel and we don't hear it mentioned enough within the community, but it is a game you should absolutely consider if you're looking for an adventure RPG following three heroes. They embark on an epic quest of Bulgaria in the search of immortality. If you love turn-based combat, a generous and well-written story with seven chapters, including the Ant Kingdom to explore, Snake Mouth Den and the Bee Kingdom to name a few, then this will absolutely be for you. And there's a little different to many of the other RPGs out there. Monster Sanctuary is a wonderful game. This is where you get to choose your familiar and become a monster keeper. While you're at it, saving Monster Sanctuary. Now we love this as you get to use the powers of the monsters you collect whilst exploring this Metroidvania inspired world. The beauty here is that finding different monsters will give you the ability to open up more of this world. Throw in some 3v3 tactical combat and we have a mix of genres here that we absolutely love and I mean all of us here at the Switchwatch team. Now, Carry On is a more recent release, and what a gem of a game this is. It's a horror game that I reviewed here on the channel, so if you want more information, now click on the right corner of the screen. I very much enjoy this different take on the Metroidvania genre, where you're a monster and have to escape the facility, which has kept you locked up. 
on your way you grow larger by consuming humans sure it's a little bit hideous but it's really a compelling game humans will have weapons but they're no match for your ever expanding tentacles and i just love the way this monster moves around the controls feel quite different but you get used to it really quickly and uh, a very good game indeed one that deserves a lot of praise Crosscode is an awesome 2D action RPG and such an awesome indie game, an absolute gem. If you love 16-bit visuals with buttery smooth physics and fast-paced combat system along with a top-notch sci-fi story, then what a treat you're in for. There are a huge amount of game here for your money and if you'd asked me to pick the top game in this entire list, this would probably be it. There's about 40 to 80 hours of gameplay here, seven massive dungeons with 120 enemy types, 30 bosses, loads of quests, and a fantastic soundtrack with 60 plus songs. What more could you possibly want for 18 pounds? That 15 pound eShop voucher will certainly come in handy, so don't forget to enter the competition at the end of this video. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin did get quite a bit of attention and a load of love from our community, especially those of you who bought the physical copies and showed them off on our Monday weekly community spotlight. Still, I think it's a game that many may have missed out on, so this is a timely reminder that if you want some sweet 2D action mixed in with farming, then look no further than this. I absolutely love this game, and it's a game that you should definitely consider getting on your Nintendo Switch right now. Cyber Shadow is my type of game all day, every day. Who doesn't like a ninja game? Here we have 8-bit presentation with fluid animation so you can enjoy taking down hordes of enemies in this platformer. As you rescue your clan, you unlock permanent ninjutsu skills and abilities. There's upgrade suppliers to find and it has a rather decent story too. A sweet soundtrack, you cannot ask for more. Essential in my book. Neon Abyss is a great little alternative to the roguelikes you know and love. This is a great little game where you progress through each dungeon as you try and infiltrate the abyss. Passive effects from drops can be stacked between every item with no limit in how many you can apply. With so many combinations, each run is certainly unique. And lastly, I'm adding a bonus game to the 10 to make it 11 with the recent Narita Boy, a Metroidvania that absolutely captured me from the beginning with its awesome soundtrack, fluid gameplay and those wonderful Tron-like visuals. Honestly, if you haven't played this yet, give this one a try because it really is a fantastic game. If you want more detail on this, check out my review. You can click the top right hand corner link right now. Now let's get on to that prize, a £15 eShop card that we bought from Eniba.com using the payment method Trustly. If you want your chance of winning, all you need to do is leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what game is your favourite on this list and why. That's all you need to do and we'll let you know the winner in one of our videos next week. So make sure you stay tuned. It'll probably go with our bargains video that James will release on Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned for that and you can subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss another video by of course clicking that subscribe button and that bell notification. I want to thank our sponsors of this video. I want to thank all of our members, subscribers and watchers. If you're still watching now, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much indeed. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care everybody.